out here on these dirt roads down south in this small rural town out here, baby. Your mouth showed a little pretty, boy. Dude, I'm getting out of here, man. This don't look right, boy. Guys, I am lost in some backwoods southern town out here. There's a sketchy road down there that I'm thinking about going on in this video. I probably shouldn't do it, but I'm going to do it anyhow because I'm just curious to see what's on that road. I just hope I make it out of there alive. You'll be amazed to see what I stumbled upon, and it's really creepy. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. I'll tell you guys, the drivers out here are crazy, man. Make sure you wear your gear, and I have some awesome gear if you want to get it, like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield, my Moto Vlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe, my CE armor jacket, which is lightweight and cool in the summer. Links to all of my gears in the description and comment section of my videos. Tell you guys, first time in this hood. Bust it in. Bust the willy, baby. Yeah, we out here. We got a dirt road right there that looks sketchy. I mean, this is common down south. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's bad, but I don't know. And there's this road here. This road looks really sketchy, man. All right, let's check it out, man. I'm curious. <laughs> this is crazy, boy. I hope I ain't trespassing, man. It says a public street. We'll see. I'm just curious to see what's down here. Oh, uh, it's a dead end road to somebody's land. Look at that. Check it out. We got a cemetery. We got cemetery action up here. Check it out. Hey, man. Check this out. One thing I find is really weird down south is that, like they put their face. It's not weird. But you don't see it up north a lot. Sometimes you do. They put all their families in like in a circle, in a square, like together. You see a lot of that here, man. Check it out. This must be like the neighborhood cemetery. Wow. That's cool. It's different, man. I like cemeteries. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm a cemetery enthusiast. Because um, it helps me appreciate life. And I love the character of some of these really old cemeteries. I'm not going to ride on a grave. I know that's bad luck. but So I'm not going to be disrespectful. I know I can be kind of a hooligan out here. But I ain't that disrespectful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be riding up on people's graves, man. Hey, check it out. Let's see where this sketchy road goes, man. I'm just curious. I don't know, dude. This goes in the woods. <laughs> oh no, dude. This could be some deliverance type of uh, situation, man. But I think this is just the cemetery going around in a circle. Okay, yeah, it is. Alright, that's cool. Should I bust the wheelie up here in the cemetery? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's disrespectful. <clears throat> yeah, baby, cycle cruiser out here. Tell you, help this going through a cemetery helps you appreciate life. You got some dirt action up in here. Get out. Know. Some slide action up in here. Hey, what? Some rough back road out here. man I'm really loving these little small rural towns out here man it's pretty awesome I'm loving the people too it's really good folks man out here you want to see where this goes let's check this street this says a public street a lot of dirt roads out here man they have you know it's like this in Ohio and some rural areas in Ohio too man so that's why I love my uh, my YZ baby supermoto. I can ride anywhere. And even though you could do this on a sport bike too if you wanted to. 
check it out. I wonder where this is going, man. <laughs> yeah, baby. We out here. Out here on these dirt roads down south in this small rural town out here, baby. The red dirt roads out here. Yeah. Going nowhere. I better be careful though, man, because my GPS might not pick up some of these real backwoods rural areas, man. So I, I better not go too far off the beaten path. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they, I might meet somebody and I say, your mouth showed a little pretty, boy. Mm-hmm. What you doing around these parts, boy? Huh? What you doing around here? You ain't from around these parts, boy. You better take your, your Yankee self back up north. You ain't, you ain't welcome around these parts, boy. <laughs> I'm just joking. These people are nice as what out here, man. I'll tell you. But I, I ain't going, I don't know if I, I'm going to go too far here, man. This looks kind of sketch. Looks kind of sketch. I don't know, dude. Where is it going? I don't know. This could be going to somebody's private property that may not take too kindly to supermoto riders. They probably don't even know what a supermoto rider is out here. <laughs> like, what is a supermoto, dude? riding a dirt bike that's a perfectly good dirt bike why'd you put street wheels on it dude dude i'm getting out of here man this don't look right boy <laughs> this don't look right these woods kind of gnarly out here that red dirt baby that's check out this epic find an old southern plantation mansion is this awesome or what you don't come across houses like this too often this is epic, man. From my research, this was built in 1829. That's a full 34 years before slavery ended. So I'm sure there were slaves attended to the land and this house at one time. And it has been abandoned for over two decades. The last time it was used as a bed and breakfast. Uh, this place is officially haunted. Uh, a police officer did witness a full bodied apparition at this residence, guys. And also there's been many paranormal researchers uh, that have went into this house and have recorded crazy events. You know, of course, full body ghosts, voices. They say a lady phantom appears on the balcony over the front door. The chandelier moves on its own. People get scratched and poked. Oh, man, I wanted to go in there. They didn't have any no trespassing signs. I'm sure. You're not supposed to go in there. You always want to get approval before you go in a place like this. Try to contact the owner. Um, so I wasn't going to go in here. But if you look at this, the state of this wood, I mean, it would have been really dangerous to try to go in this house. I mean, you could fall through the floor and have a real effed up day. Look at that. <laughs> I wasn't about to go in there, man. But I was in awe of the beauty of this old plantation house man you it just had a really cool aura about this house man absolutely awesome man just to think that you know slaves probably tended to this house and land wow 1829 that is crazy but it is really creepy especially at night uh, you drive by this place at night man whoo it is creepy what do you guys think about this old southern plantation mansion? Do you think I should go in there and do an exploration video? Leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Okay, let's see what else is around these pots. Yeah, baby. Gotta have a little bit of fun out here in the country hood out here. They out here in the country, baby. Down south. We out here. See what's down here. I tell you, a lot of people out here in the country have junkyards, man. <laughs> Junk cars. Enjoy down south out here on these back roads, baby. Yeah, 
No potholes down here. I like that. We out here, baby. But anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my All the One Motorcycle channel. And make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.